so um, in this video I'll talk about um, public health system here in Brazil is it good how it works okay um, they call they, they we call here the SUS so sistema sistema único de saúde universal health system okay let me talk about it and uh, first of all i will say the public health system here in brazil is one of the best in the world okay and why that why i say this because um you have universal procedures in the uh, health procedures let me say if you need a surgery a complex surgery all kinds of surgery of um, of health procedures you will have here okay that's why it's called it universal system health system universal health system and you have access to this service everywhere in Brazil even if in a city or in a, in a capital okay we have the kinds of uh, public health network everywhere okay and um, when we compare with other countries really Brazil is not so bad in terms of healthy okay health system the problem is the same problem with everything that is free let me say like this what is free has infinite demand okay so everything that is free we have this problem of a scarcity of that, that thing that is free okay you cannot have everything for free for everybody so Brazil we have this kind of scarcity of this of professionals, of hospitals, of services, not because specifically we have low investment in health, but because it's free, okay? So always we have this problem, okay? If everything was free, food, transportation, we wouldn't have enough for everybody. So. Uh, here in Brazil, um, depending on what city you are, you can have a good service, a good public service, or an awful service. General, uh, in capitals, you have the worst service, okay? And why that happened? Because we have a lot more demand in these um, capitals, okay? Uh, how does this, uh, what are the best, let me say, service you can find? You can find best service in the countryside, mainly in rich states. Rich states, let me say like Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo is a rich state. He have a lot uh, of income in taxes, so he can invest, it can invest a lot in public service. So, generally, in the countryside of Sao Paulo, you can find um, the best service, okay? Let me say like this, public service, okay? How the network works here? Here, uh, I worked in, in the SUS, okay, for years, uh, in the countryside here in my state, Ceará, as a dentist, okay? And I studied a lot about it in the university. Uh, basically, it works like this. We have the basic health network that are this is small. Um, it's like um, I don't know how to say hospitals, but very very small hospitals that are basic basic uh, health service that are in the countryside, are in the neighborhoods. Okay, they do like this primary. Uh, attendment like uh, small things like this okay urgencies uh, things like this okay and uh, if you need something more complex okay you go there first in the basic attention the primary health service and you get a requirement to go to the complex 
procedures like surgeries that are in the big hospitals okay generally if you need complex things okay but here uh, it, these procedures can take years depending on the procedure like it's complex you can take up to one two three years in the line waiting to the procedure that's the problem okay as I said discuss it uh, for many things here the SUS uh, what about the medications okay uh, they give medications too okay that's cool okay uh, you can get for free uh, not for free because you pay for the, in the tax but uh, they, they give you the medication if you need the basic medication not all medications but something basic okay and that's it um, I don't think uh, the state here invests uh, invest low amount of money in health they invest a lot here okay but as I said because it's free it will never be enough for everybody as I said okay what's available for free has this problem of scarcity always in everything the government puts their hands in we have this problem of scarcity okay so that's it if you like the video have some question put in the comments okay and see you subscribe and like the channel